I have been talking about this game for months, and today... Ice Cream 3 is finally here. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome to Ice Cream 3. So special thanks to the developers for sending me the game early so I can get it to you guys right when the game comes out. Okay, first things first, we're actually going to be doing ghost mode so we can really explore everything and not worry about dying. I'm going to be playing a lot of Ice Cream 3 on the channel, and if you guys want to see more, don't forget to smack that like button for me. But let's do ghost mode first so we can see everything. Oh, here we go. It's the newspaper article. Two children have been missing for a few days. If anyone knows anything, inform the police quickly. And there is us. Oh, yes. Ice cream three, one for all. Oh, man. I am so excited, guys. Okay, so we're in our room. Uh, so let's go over here. Oh, wait, wait. I think we can go into the house now. Yes. Okay, that is awesome. Now that my parents aren't home, I can go out here. Okay, so if you guys haven't seen any of ice cream before, normally you have to go out that window over there. And I'm always like, why can't I just go out the front door like a normal human being? I guess our parents maybe locked us in this room. Let me explore around here just a little bit. Is there anything new? Anything that I can pick up? I see the computer screen now has ice cream three on it. I see a pair of... Oh, no, it's a slingshot. So let me get the slingshot. Maybe I can use that a little bit later. And let's go downstairs. Can I go in any of these doors? Nope, that one's locked. Uh, what about this door? Okay, nope, that's locked too. So we have to go downstairs. I assume those are some of the other bedrooms and maybe those just aren't in the game. Oh, we are actually walking around our house in Ice Cream 3. This is amazing. Oh, I've been looking forward to this for so long, guys. Uh, let's just search around for a little bit. Ooh, this door's open. So this is the kitchen. I think that's how I get to the front door. I want to, ooh. Oh, wait, no, this is the kitchen. Oh, it's all connected. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I'm just exploring around here a little bit more. Uh, just because I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, so let's make our way over to the front door. I know there was a cutscene. Oh, wait, what's in this door? Oh, it's a bathroom. Okay, uh, okay. Doesn't seem to be much in there. Let's go to the front door. I think there's gonna... I need a key. What? I need a key to get outside? Are you kidding me? Okay, that I didn't know about. That was not included in the cutscene that they had in the trailer. All right, let me go find a key real quick so we can get to the cutscene. Oh, I think I see it over here. Is this it? Is this it? Uh, yes, home key. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, let's go outside. Can I go through this way? No, of course not. All right, let's go all the way around. Ugh, I just want to see the darn cutscene. Oh, yeah. Yes, here we go. The first cutscene of the day. They also said there's going to be more cutscenes in this game, too. Okay, so we see our good friend Rod. And here's Mike. Oh, okay, okay. So this was from the cutscene. I already knew about this before. You tell me, sweet little boy. He is so creepy. I know you have Liz, and I want you to release her. Liz? I think you're confused, boy. <laughs> okay. So no, Liz is Charlie's you sister. I saw her in the trunk of your dirty van. If you don't release it, I'm gonna fry your brain with this shotgun that I made Wow. <laughs> Shoot him, man. You can end this whole thing. I know who you're talking about, huh? I don't remember the names of all the... Shoot him! Oh! Stupid boy! You have the guts to face me, huh? But you're not fat enough to be useful to me. I do remember this. A lot of you guys have probably already seen this cutscene. Open up and say, ah! Here we go. He's about to put on like a hundred pounds in about five seconds. Wait for it. Wait for it. And very tasty ice cream. It's very tasty ice I don't cream. Know why you did this, but I'm gonna exterminate you. There he goes. Now he's turning into a tub of lard, just like Liz. Oh, hello, chubby boy. <laughs> he's so creepy. Now you're chubby and clubby, just like I like it. <laughs> Oh, boy. Sorry about that, Mike. You should have shot him when you had a chance. Okay, so I assume I could go outside now? I hope I don't get killed. Oh, wait, wait. Can we pick up his gun? Does it work? Electro gun. Wow. Wow. Okay, Mike must have been like some sort of an electric engineer because he actually put together a pretty cool gun here. Can I shoot Rod? Hey, Rod, you idiot. Hey, hey. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Hiya. You must use this to shoot the van padlock. What? Hiya! 
I, what? I can't shoot it. I'm trying. Interact? Oh, there we go. There we go. I just shot it off. Okay. I don't know why it didn't work at first. And is this going to be Liz in here? Wait. Who? Oh, no. That's Mike. So now he's got Mike in here. Mike! Mike, say something if you're feeling well. Okay, I think he's a little shy right now. That's okay, Mike. No problem with that. All right, so first things first, let's go to our map. And this is a brand new map. So we are looking at a brand new map. So the neighborhood is still there. The circus is still there. The stall is still there. But now we have a metro station and we have a shopping center and camping grounds. Okay, well, I don't know. I want to go somewhere new. So it's ghost mode so I can explore without worrying about dying. Let's go to the camping grounds first. Okay, so this is a brand new map, guys. This is the camping grounds that they actually gave us a little screenshot in the last video. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. So do I need this gun anymore? I'm going to leave it in Rod's truck. Maybe I'll need it later. But for now, I want to have an open hand so that I could pick up other items. Hmm. So what are we going to be looking for? I don't want to use my hints yet, but if I have to, I will. Wait, what is this? Push. Oh, okay. Let's crouch down and go in here. Wow. Oh, there's a big tree house. Oh, I love tree houses. I never had a tree house as a kid, but I really loved tree houses. Like when I would go over friends' houses that had tree houses, I would be jealous. Okay. Oh, I'm getting a little hint. So I must be close to something. Let's go up here into the tree house. This is amazing. Wait, come on. Come on, Brandon. Go up a little bit higher. Keplarians does such a great job. Oh, I'm going to need a key, it looks like. Wait, let's try to open this. You need a treehouse key to unlock the padlock. All right, I'm not sure where that is, but hopefully we'll find it soon. So I'm back downstairs and I'm at... Whoa, geez, okay, okay. I know you can't kill me, but my gosh, don't sneak up on me like that, Rod. Um, This map is massive. So they did say that the game is going to be bigger, and I think the map is bigger too. What? What is... Are those feet? Hey, it's you? What? What happened the other day? How do you think of jumping with a van running? Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, so that's Liz. I think that's Liz in there. Oh, and she actually asked us a question, and I guess based off of our answer, maybe we can save her? So what did she say, Jay? Is that you? What happened the other day? How do you think of jumping out of the van? Yeah, the, the van was going about four miles an hour, and we asked her to jump out, but she's like, no, I can't jump. I'm going to get hurt. It was going four miles an hour. You'll be fine, Liz. So here are the three options. The truth is that your brother Charlie jumped without problems. I thought you wouldn't mind either. Yeah, that's kind of the truth there. Two, it's what you should have done too. But of course, as you are a girl, no, don't say that. That's going to make her angry. And three, I did that because it was the only way to escape, of course. I'm going to go with that one. That one seems like it's the most nice thing that we can say you are a brute get out of here what jay it's you i'm trying to what save you girl day? i'm so confused what all right i guess day? i thought maybe based on what we said we could save her right there but apparently not you know what liz just keep hiding in a darn bush my goodness gracious oh it looks like i can actually go in some of these tents so if i go down oh here's an item map of key what do I do with the map of the key? I don't know what to do with the map of the key. All right, well, we're going to do what we do every time we find an item we don't know how to use. We're going to throw it in the back of Rod's truck. All right, let's... Ah, all right, that's good. Let's keep searching a little bit, and then we're going to go to another map. Okay, I'm starting to think this is kind of like a puzzle. So I'm going to go... Let's go with the first one first. How? So that was what Charlie wanted to tell me? Where is he? I, I mean, is... Okay. He is he okay? And then I care more about... Okay, they're different questions every time. So, well, I don't know. I haven't seen him in a while. Don't know. He's fine. I care more about you, a girl with your class. Uh, let's, let's say that one. Yes. In the end, I managed to jump at one of the stops. Are the others okay? Are the others okay? Yes, it's best that we go to Rod's van to come back home. Okay, so I do have to convince her to come. Uh, well, Mike is the one who is caged now, and when I saw he captured you, he'd be very angry with Rod. Uh, no, Mike has been poisoned. Well, that's just a lie. Let's go with the second one. <gasps> oh, he's... it is so nice. Come on. We have to do something. Come on. Come on. There's another one. How many questions do I have to darn answer? Okay, so now she knows that Mike kind of has a little crush on her, and she's flattered. Uh... Yes, super nice. Uh, and I uh, saved me. We have to go back to Rod's van. Let's go with that one. Sorry, don't count on it. I worked so hard for that. Well, what we have to do is be together and follow me to the van. Let's go with that one. Okay. She's I'll doing it. You. 
She's doing it. She's doing it. I have a girl that looks like a, a walking bush chasing me to Rod's van. Okay, I did not think this would work, but it's actually working. Um, hey, Rod, you might see me and the walking bush lady walking past you, but don't mind us. We're fine. It's all in your imagination, buddy. All of this is in your imagination. Can Liz crouch? I'm going to try to go under here. Am I going to get her stuck? Come on, Liz. Liz, be nimble. Liz, be quick. Liz goes under a branch and gets stuck. My goodness gracious, she is useless. I don't know how this would be possible with Rod actually chasing us. Oh, she got in there. Huh? She made it in there. All right, cool. You know what? Let's go somewhere else and let's start exploring around. All right, let's go to another new area. So let's go to the shopping center, the mall. This is going to be awesome. So all of these maps are brand new, guys, and I am so fired up. So this is the shopping center. What? Oh, we got another cutscene. We got another cutscene. <laughs> December 1955. Tragic day of mourning. Yesterday, an unfortunate accident occurred. The famous ice cream... I can't read that fast. The identity of the person driving the vehicle has not Rod, been discovered. Do you live here? Rod, are you at home? You have to go back to her. You still don't understand, please. You have to come back. All what? this has an explanation, Rod. Rod! Who's that? Well, in that case, I'll leave this to you. It has been written by your own mother. Oh! Okay, so it looks like Rod's father was killed in a car accident? Although I couldn't read that one little part. You guys will have to go back and read it. But I don't know, that was a really good cutscene, though. Uh, and now we're in the shopping center. Why is Rod driving backwards? Oh, okay, he's backing into the place, I guess. Okay, that was kind of weird. All right, so now we're in the shopping center, and we have to look for a few other things. I'm not really sure what we're looking for at this point, but we're going to be looking around. I don't know if I'm going to beat the game today. I might have to make a part two, a part three, and a part four, maybe even a part 90, but this is fun. This game's definitely way more involved than the original two games. Okay, I got a little radar, and it's showing me how to get to the shovel, but I don't know how to get there. How do I? It looks like it's in here. No, maybe not. It really seems like it's going to be in there, but how am I supposed to jump? How do I hop? Come on, man. Be more nimble than that. Oh, this is embarrassing. How am I supposed to get to the shovel if I can't hop over this little, like, one-foot ledge? I mean, how unathletic can I possibly be? Door. Can I open it? Oh, I actually can. I figured there would be a lock. What? Wait, why didn't it open? Come on. Come on. What? Wait, I'm confused. Okay, wait. Let me crouch. Oh, okay, okay, wait. So I have to wait. I'm so confused. Wait, why can't I open this door? All right, we're gonna have to come back to that. I don't know why I can't open that door. That's weird. You guys are gonna have to help me out in the comments if you guys have any ideas how to play this game because I am playing it for the first time and I've never even seen anyone play it, guys, because the game technically hasn't been out yet. This thing looks like it's highlighted. Maybe there's something. Ooh, there's a button. There's a button. Press the button. Why are you making so much noise? I don't know what that weird man and you are playing. You know I see you on the cameras, Berlan. Do you want me to call the police? Oh, okay, this was a this was a cutscene before too. Okay, so it looks like security might have seen us walking around. I guess the mall is maybe closed. So he said, Do you want me to call the police? Um, no, probably not. I assume I have to answer these correctly, but I'm gonna go no. How much is we? The truth is that I hate my job. I could be somewhere more Bonito. Ah, break everything you want, hombrecito. Let's see if this way, with a little luck, I get fired. <laughs> okay. This is the greatest security guard ever. Yeah, I love this guy. He's amazing. So I can break anything I want and I won't get in trouble. But what can I break? I don't know what I'm supposed to be breaking. Maybe the door will open now that I talk to the security guard. Nope, still doesn't open. What am I doing wrong here? Maybe I'm supposed to hold it, but I think I already did that. Oh. Oh, it looked like it was working. Oh, come on, man. Oh, I found another door. I bet this... This one won't open. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. This one I could. There's a gap. Looks like you need some tool to lift this. What tool am I going to need? Let me look at my hints really quickly. I need... Uh, what is this puzzle about? Where do I solve it at the mall? What item do I need? Oh, I actually don't have to watch the commercials for it. So I need this. Well, where do I find that? All right, I don't think there's a whole lot I could do here yet. I'm going to have to come back here. Let's go to the metro station. Let's go over to the subway. I don't know if there's going to be something new there, but this is another brand new map. 
Is this another cutscene? No, no, no. Okay, we're actually just in the subway station. All right, here we go. Hopefully, there's going to be something in here. What was that? I thought I heard a sound. I thought, is our friend Mike awake? Hey, Mikey boy, you gained a couple pounds, buddy. Ah, oh, that's all right. I'm sure you'll lose the weight. He's probably not going to lose the weight. All right, let's look around this subway station. Hopefully, we'll find something good here. I'm struggling today, boys, and I'm on normal mode. Wait, what's this? Interact with the fence. You need something to break the fence. What do I need? I need to access the cabin. Uh, access the cabin. You will need to break a fence. How do I break the fence? I need to solve it here, and I need fireworks. Well, where are the fireworks? The fireworks are at the camping site. Oh my goodness. This is really tough, guys. This game is really tough today. Can we actually go on this? Oh, wait, wait. I see something sitting there on the tracks. I see something right here. What's this? A wooden green horse. What do I need a wooden green horse for? I got hit by a subway train. Oh, I found like double guns. It's locked. What else is new? I mean, nothing, nothing is easy in this game, is it? Nothing can be easy. I found a pair of scissors right here, but I don't really know. No, of course that's locked. Uh, ooh. Ooh, wait, wait. Can I cut this rope or whatever these things are? Cut. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, this is going to be how I get out. And there we go. Now, can I open it? Yes, I can. All right, let's drop those. I don't think I'm going to need the scissors. There's Rod. Hey, my good man, Rod. I know you can't kill me, but my goodness, you just scared the nutcrackers out of me. Okay. Oh, and I know we have to go down here, but I think I'm probably going to need something to get down there, aren't I? What? Wait, what? Don't I? I'm so confused. There was something here in ice cream too. Maybe, nope. Maybe that's just kind of there for show now in this one. Oh, there's actually more to this place now. Get out of my way, Rod. There's actually more to this. Wait, what is that? Oh! Okay, now I was eaten by a darn alligator. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Am I only allowed to die twice in this game? Oh, no. I literally found a way to lose in ghost mode. This is supposed to be the easy mode that anyone can do, but even the frustrated gamer can find a way to die in ice cream when he's on the easiest mode possible. I can't believe this. And now I'm locked in my favorite freezer in the world for the rest of my life. This is unreal. I'm so terrible at this game. <laughs>